speech. For our next session, I would like to invite Rahul Shukla, Group Head, Commercial <coughs> Banking and Rural Banking, along with Mr. Jimmy Tata, uh, to present Commercial and Rural Banking. Does this work? Kidar dikhana padega Bluetooth kis taraf hai? Kahi bhi karenge? Okay. No, I'll stand. Uh, but I need my uh, partner, uh, Jimmy Tata, without whom I'm very nervous. <coughs> Hi. 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 Uh, we're going to talk about you know commercial and rural banking. Uh, in fact, uh, we're just one year old uh, as, as a group, <coughs> and we celebrated you know our uh, one year birthday on first May. It was you know Sashi's vision that he created, and we're going to try and you know basically explain what this uh, animal is. <coughs> uh, there are several groups in the bank you know which are all together. So you have the emerging corporate group, which is you know companies with turnover between 250 and 1,000 crore. You've got uh, business banking which is our wholesale SME business from 7.5 crore to about 250 crore turnover. You've got EEG Emerging Enterprise Group, which is a retail SME, uh, which is 7.5 crore, you know, and below. Rural Banking Group, uh, where we actually, you know, finance uh, farmers for crop financing and other needs. Transportation Finance Group, uh, which is, you know, commercial vehicle, uh, some ham projects, uh, tractors and uh, commercial equipment, etc. And we have healthcare finance. So the question that you would ask is that, you know, what is this hodgepodge together and why is it together? Uh, that is the number one question, you know, when I was told, I also asked myself, you know, the same question. The reason is <coughs> that if you take a look at it, where do we distribute these products? It's all semi-urban and rural, largely. So we have, you know, commonality of, you know, where we are distributing these products, that's number one. Number two, if you look at this, you know, entire product set, this is the PSL engine of the bank. So when bank is, you know, basically focused on growing PSL, you know, this is all uh, grows up together. The third thing I would tell you, <coughs> it's a very important but a fine point. You have a retail customer and you have mature corporate who have, you know, needs that they have. Here, the life cycle is transitioning. Today, the retail SME is tomorrow's wholesale SME, who's tomorrow's, you know, ECG and who's tomorrow's large corporate. To give you one sense, if you take a look at, you know, consulting studies, by the end of this decade, there would be 10,000, you know, SME ca customers who are going to become mid-corporate and they would have differing needs as they go through the life cycle and there would be at least 1,000 customers from mid-corporate who will become large corporate. So our job is to basically, you know, keep changing. It is supposed to be, you know, like uh, we are not a expert bowler or we are not expert, you know, batsman or batter as they call it. We are supposed to be, you know, basically that uh, Hindi word harfan maula, you know, all-rounder. So we are supposed to be able to get all parts of the bank and, you know, go out and sell this. So this is what the group is. Now, when you think about it, you know, what are we supposed to deliver? We are supposed to deliver 25 to 30 percent, you know, growth rate. Uh, this is, you know, quite simple. Uh, the second is, you know, earnings, uh, which is again NIM and ROA. Um, I think last year, you know, when we did our ROA was, I think, about 3.7 percent or so. But you should always expect an ROA of, you know, basically significantly above, you know, the 3 percent number. Uh, and the third is, you know, uh, enabler for the bank, which is about 65 to 70 percent of the bank's PSL today is generated by this group. And about 65 to 70 percent of the portfolio itself is, you know, PSL today. And we build all those products. I don't need to, you know, talk about it. Uh, you guys are all banking analysts, so you kind of know, you know, basically the standard banking products that are, you know, uh, we go out and deliver. Uh, look at uh, <coughs> what we do, just highlights, we can talk about fees, we can talk about liabilities. But last year we grew our average assets by about 26 percent uh, and that's a huge number on the back of 11 percent, you know, year prior. And we increased our revenue by 26 percent on, on, on the back of, you know, a year prior which was about 18 percent, right? So, you know, I mean these numbers are, you know, pretty healthy. Uh, Total customer base about 11 lakhs. We continue to add, you know, new to bank customers, and we have a GNPA X Agri of 1.15 percent, which continued to come down. Right now, you can look at this number and say, "Oh, great performance." But as an analyst, your question simply will be: <coughs> Is the market large enough, you know, for me to continue to grow? 
and the second question grow with the same quality that I have and the second question is do I have this strategy to you know go out and grow and in the next few slides I will simply cover you know basically these two questions is the market big enough do I have the strategy and you know everything in place to be able to continue to grow this is uh, let us take the MSME size right you know this is the MSME you know market uh, size. Uh, not our creation, it is uh, TransUnion, Sybil, BCG, Jeffries, you know in a research report that came out. This is the total demand uh, for credit in the space is about 50 lakh crore and today NBFCs and banks service only 20 lakh crore. There is 10 lakh crore where proprietors are borrowing you know against basically their assets etc. And there is a 20 lakh crore which is a credit gap. Now this 20 lakh crore the total number of entities you would know uh, obviously is about six and a half crore but five crore of these are not in the formal banking system and they are borrowing 20 lakh crore from the informal market. Now if you think about it basically slowly and progressively that 20 lakh crore is moving to the 10 lakh crore and the 10 lakh crore is moving to 20 lakh crore it is an enormous opportunity. You know India is basically known for its IT prowess but you know it basically creates about 50 lakh jobs. Startups may be a lack of jobs but out of 6.5 crore entities you know the micro entities is 6.25 crore and I always say in our country the chota banya remains a chota banya never becomes a bada, bada banya. But if you look at all the government policy focus today the push is that you know to take the micro and make him small or make her small and in the process when you do it you have to create just one new job and that's 6.25 crore jobs. So in a country where jobs are needed the entire politicians you know basically focus is on MSME for a reason because if you create that 6.25 crore jobs minimum and if you take you know four members in a family you are lifting the spending power of 25 crore people. So make no mistake you know when I sit and do CRB I think you know I am basically doing you know the future of banking. So just said in jest but that is how large this opportunity is. Let us look at you know what we have done the no numbers but you know you see some growth rates right uh, during the pandemic you know 26 percent uh, Kager over there and last year 44 percent this is just the SME book the retail SME and the wholesale SME. Now if you think about it <coughs> see here. Uh, well you can't see this you know if you always talk in terms of slopes and this slope is you know basically wider during the pandemic you know more and more customers in more places are coming and joining hands with HDFC bank why why is you know the question why aren't they going to you know basically any other bank now when you buy a laptop today in chroma I am 100 percent certain that you are asking them to set up the laptop instead of bringing it home and doing it do it yourself. So when you think about a bank with a digital and a physical you know basically platform customers want both. So the branch you know basically comes in over there. The second thing if you go to Andhra Pradesh today you know renewal of customer limits has not happened for 6 months. 6 months right you know this is the state of the banking system in HDFC bank you know it will take long and long means you know 5 days right renewal of you know credit limits that is you know what happens. The third thing is that during the pandemic the guy said either I can remain with my good luck bank because that was opened by my great grandfather or I have the good luck my business I have to do LCs and I have to do tr transactions and I have to just continue to run my business and that is why that acceleration has happened. But because of that acceleration the number of customers who have come to us now we are playing the network effect. Because a promoter in Gohati would have his son married to you know basically the daughter of a promoter in Belgaon. All that you know starts connecting immediately because your pace is so large today that a lot of these are not just branch referrals but also promoter referring you know promoter. And this is wha what ladies and gentlemen has made us the number one MSME bank in the country. Whichever way you look at it you look at you know basically TransUnion's report or you look at any other data today our bank is the number one bank not you know number one MSME private sector bank you know when I say this it is number one MSME bank period and one of the lowest GNPA in uh, the MSME segment. Look at this next slide this is RBI data <coughs> it is pretty simple uh, March 20 we had a 12 percent you know market share March 21 we had a 14.6 percent market share of MSME lending and March 22 we had an 18.4 percent market share. Now you can always ask the question you know how will you grow but we continue to grow. 
you also should see that 16.6 percent market share in micro and small segment. So, for anybody who has a concern about you know basically this type of PSL you know your concerns are addressed right here which is what you know where the bank is. The next question is in terms of just the geographical presence today we do business in about 600 districts. 600 districts this is a number that we have targeted over a four year period we have grown from 450 districts and we are fairly you know sort of evenly di divided across. Uh, it is not that you know we basically go out and uh, uh, you know do something more in a particular segment or uh, anywhere else. You think about our customer base you know that is distributed across uh, urban uh, metro as well as you know uh, rural segment it is distributed across micro small and medium enterprises. But one fact when you think about whether I will be able to grow 6338 branches of HDFC bank 5331 do you know MSME business out of that only 2353 2300 branches have a MSME book which is more than 25 percent of that branches asset book. So, I have 3000 more branches where we can focus and build it amongst our known customer base and that is what differentiates you know basically the GNPA from us you know compared to everybody else. This is you know the GNPA slide you know we have taken out the numbers this is from TransUnion Sybil, but uh, this uh, piece is uh, HDFC bank and if you think about it this is uh, you know uh, I do not know whether they take write offs or not. But they have a number of I think you know about 1.4 percent which reduced you know compared to September 21 by about 1.2 percent. You look at the entire private sector banking system excluding HDFC bank that is about 7.8 percent go above to NBFCs that is 10 percent and this is you know about 20 percent. That is you know what the difference is and when you control and when you think about bringing CRB where the yields could be you know basically between corporate and retail. The only thing that you need to do is basically keep controlling the GNPA and suddenly it becomes a cash cow for a bank and that is what you know basically my simple uh, remit is which you know Jimmy and I try and you know together execute Raul on a daily allow basis. Me one second please if you can I want to point it is not just where that line is look how rock steady it has been through one of the worst calamities the country has faced. I think this is the strength of the bank this is the strength of good selection and without doubt it is the strength of a sales and marketing engine that can just bring in quality so that you do not have to approve things that are not quality. Sorry Rod. Right. The next piece is uh, agri this is a topical point this is something that the bank needs this is something that the banking system needs between 2021 and December uh, 21 between March and December our market share increased from 6.13 percent to 6.4 percent that is you know basically what it is and our target market share by FY 24 is about 9 percent. Now to give you a sense if you take a look at you know just the KCC portfolio size the Kisan credit card which we do a lot of other rural also in this group. But if you think about it all private sector banks put together if you exclude HDFC bank that size of lending is 80,000 crore against that HDFC bank is about 65,000 crore that is 80,000 crore of everybody else the 65,000 crore of you know HDFC bank and that is what you know basically the difference is. Now the second question you know that will always come is what is the GNPA and we started disclosing you know the GNPA I can go back and tell you that if you look at the GNPA over the last one year period from March 21 to March 22 or from December 21 uh, uh, to December 20 right you know that particular period HDFC bank has significantly reduced its GNPA through its efforts selection collection so on and so forth in the entire system the GNPA has increased quite dramatically. So, it is a complete differentiator we are building this book you know very thoughtfully there are many different pieces that we have to build and that is you know this is how we are doing it. Number one is geography penetration we will be in 2 lakh <coughs> villages. We Sorry. said it last year when we were at about 98,000 you know villages we started a, a tracking and planning you know in terms of expanding our footprint by March we were in 1 lakh 30 thousand villages. Next year you know I mean by March of uh, 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 next year we will be at 1 lakh 65 and we will be at 2 lakh villages. 
this is a presence which is unparalleled in the private banking space and a lot of nationalized banking space as well. And 2 lakh is not a lot of villages. This country has 6 lakh 40,000 villages. So we are still playing in about you know 30 percent or so. But the nature of you know this uh, lending is changing as we you know go about. Number one is you know diversification of crop. You know that there is a water crisis, groundwater crisis in the country because 90 percent of water usage is basically in agriculture and 80 percent of that water usage is wheat, rice and sugar cane. We have to move to allied you know in terms of horticulture, different types of products, fruits, vegetables and other activities of agriculture, piggery, fishery, you know, so on and so forth, which is what, you know, we are doing and we are steadily increasing, you know, basically our share. Focus on government schemes, one of them is the Agri Infra Fund. I must tell you, um, uh, we are known for ECLGS as the largest disburser of ECLGS, but in AIF, when the government ran a contest between 1st Feb and 15th of March, we were only second to Punjab National Bank in terms of, you know, going out and lending against, you know, this particular scheme, which is what, you know, the bank is very focused on because there are great schemes. There are about 40 different schemes. You just have to follow, you know, the government and all of these are transitioning us away from water guzzling crops to cash crops or value added crops where the farmer's income, you know, increases instead of making, you know, 25,000 rupees per annum on an acre, that farmer, you know, goes to about 3 lakh rupees, you know, per annum. We simply have to be non-judgmental and follow the schemes. The schemes are brilliant. And then we have to focus on small and marginal farmers, which is a regulatory target, which is again we are doing it. We have grown 37 percent last year. We are planning to grow this about 100 percent, but it is a need that you know we have to go out and do. The next segment is uh, transportation. Uh, to give you a sense, uh, we are number one. Uh, when you take a look at you know all vehicle financed, you take any NBFC, you take any bank. In this year, we are number one, larger than the largest and we do more financing for many OEMs than their own captive, you know, finance NBFCs. HCV market share, March 21 to 22, 28 percent, uh, commercial equipment 17 percent, that's 8 percent LCV, ULCV and then uh, tractor market share is I think about 8 or 9 percent. You do that. Now, the next question is can we grow, right? And is this business cyclical? So when the economy is doing well, you grow and then you know you go down. Our attempt is to change the nature of this business that we continue to grow irrespective of the economy and irrespective of you know the market share. Now the next question is how do you do that? It's so easy to say. You know, there are three and a half lakh you know commercial vehicles that were sold last year. Now you can focus on all the new equipment and keep financing it. But there are 2 lakh, you know, basically uh, commercial, uh, commercial vehicle which traded in the used commercial vehicle market. That's a huge segment. Now, I, I, I don't say go out and buy everything, but the guy who's buying a Daimler truck or a Volvo truck or a Tata refurbished truck knows what he's doing or knows what she's doing because those, you know, come at a premium. And you get a guarantee for about 6 months, truck chal gai to chal gai uske baad, you know, 10 saal tak chalta hai. So that is how it runs. So we have to go out and take a look at that. But more importantly, you know, this entire space of equipment is only 3 lakh crore. But the working capital that is used by the transporter together with that is 7 lakh crore market, right? I am only scratching the surface on that. But if I start, you know, pushing because you are the largest, you have the largest number of transporters, you have a great, you know, basically GNPA, you know, track record, etc. Then suddenly you have, you know, future proofed, uh, not future proofed it, growth proofed it. Whether the economy is growing or slowing, you will continue to grow. And that is, you know, what we are doing uh, in the entire, you know, logistics uh, ecosystem. The next is uh, healthcare. Uh, today, you know, go out in every district, there are new hospitals coming. UP before elections announced. Uh, hospitals and medical colleges in 14 districts and now they're going to cover all the districts which is what is happening there is a, a scheme as well of the government uh, we all know there's a lot of you know basically flows around that we are very focused on that currently the book size is small because hospitals have made so much cash flow during covid that they've paid down but the bank you know intends to continue to leverage its 3 point lakh uh, 2 lakh doctors that is about 25 percent of you know the doctors who bank with us 6000 plus hospitals uh, 14,000 labs and 17,000 chemists and we will, you know, basically build upon, you know, this particular area. So the market size is very large. Now, wh how will we execute? What is our strategy? This is our strategy. Growth, 
PSL and income, right? You know, this is uh, pretty simply put. How are we going to do it? On the left hand side, geography expansion is a key tenet. We have to go, you know, deeper and deeper into the country. There is a market share gain because, you know, there is a large set of banking system which is not able to service, you know, the customers. Six months, you know, for renewal of facilities and so on and so forth. There are other, you know, basically large, you know, private sector banks who don't want to go deep into, you know, the country. If I go out and take a look at my travel schedule, in the last, you know, two months or three months, I have gone to Darbanga, I have gone to Pudukote. These are places you would not even hear of. But that is where, you know, today business is. The third is, you know, customer acquisition. We have to continue at a small, uh, large clip, government sponsored schemes. I am a great believer in that. Deeper village penetration, I basically ask my team that on 1,30,000 villages that we are, khali do disbursement karna hai saal mein. That's all that we need to do. Nothing else. That is deeper village penetration. Logistics, ecosystem and healthcare we talked about. Rural we talked about. High cash uh, uh, crop culture cluster we do it. How do we do, you know, basically in terms of origination, we look at branch, we have direct sourcing, we use, you know, VRM, today we sell, you know, tractors through Sampath's team, uh, we use uh, CSC and we do digital sourcing also. In terms of, you know, what is our people strategy, number one is succession planning that tomorrow I am not there, who is my successor, that is known, if any one of them is not there, you know, who is their successor, you just keep going down deeper and deeper because this business is run by supervisors and you have to get it right. Uh, the second is uh, deep managerial bench uh, that uh, comes with, you know, basically making people supervisors in remote locations. They don't overnight become, you know, great managers. You have to just, you know, nurture that. The third is, you know, regular training and the fourth is, you know, just focus on productivity as to how many files are uh, being done. This is our geographical expansion target. Uh, in the mid-market business, uh, ECG, you know, from 135, you know, cities, we are going to go to 250 cities by the uh, end of uh, March 23. In terms of MSME presence from 573 districts, you know, as of uh, March 31st, we will hit, you know, 650. It's a stretch target, but we are going, making a go at it. And uh, in terms of villages from 1.35 lakhs, you know, we will go to 1.65 lakhs. How have our customers dealt with it? You know, we don't talk much about it, but, you know, we have a digital system which basically works. And it works because the customer is able to meet, you know, their entire needs. There are many customers who gush. Uh, I think that those are planted, you know, gushing by RMs who basically say that, oh, you know, we cannot exist without your platform and all that. So I discount it. But you keep hearing again and again. And even if I discount it, what I hear from Northeast, you know, Kohima to Kutch, everybody says that HDFC Bank is a good luck bank. Ki aapka paisa bahut falta hai. Now, when the MSME guy, you know, starts believing in it, no, he will never go. Never go. But today, the common, you know, myth or otherwise in that community is that HDFC bank ka paisa to palta hai. So, we do, you know, basically a platform which is complete. Today, uh, almost, you know, above 75% of logins are, you know, happening digitally. Uh, our goal is that by, you know, June 30th, 50% of disbursements happen, you know, digitally. And then we continue to work on our digital engine for credit approval because the future at the lower end will be completely, you know, straight through processing in terms of digital. These are our goals. Uh, everybody wants, you know, basically a forward looking, you know, statement. Uh, uh, the bank does not give it, uh, but look, we have a target 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1 and 1 plus 1. So, same target. Huh? But the meaning of all this 1 plus 1 is different. This year, whatever was our book on March 31st, built over 26 years, we are going to do the same amount in rupees crores of disbursements during the year. And we are tracking it, you know, April, May, June, etc. And it is distributed across district. This is what we are going to do. Next year, whatever was our customer base, we are going to double the count of customers. Because 11 lakh is what? Out of 6.5 crore. We want to do that. Now, why is that coming later? That is coming later because we have, you know, system enhancements in getting in place. I said 5 crore people still do not bank in the formal banking system. We have to have a system that is able to take care of about 2 to 2.5 crore customers. Today, any bank's MSME system, you know, 5% better, 5% lower and all that, we do not have to play around with all that shit. You have to build a system that can tackle, you know, that amount of value volumes. And the third is, you know, basically doubling of revenue, uh, not between 24 and 25, but from FY22 to FY25. Uh, so, this is, you know, basically our third goal. After FY25, 
the game of MSME is going to completely change. The way the business is done or we understand that is going to you know get a dramatic shift. But while we do you know basically all these you know volumes uh, you know Jimmy just stand a little bit Bhavish you can also stand a little bit. Uh, I want to thank uh, you know my uh, ops uh, partner and my credit partner because dhanda to hum le aayenge lekin unko approve karna hai aur unko process karna hai to unke liye ek tali to banta hai because this is what you know the bank is doing. Thank you. Now we open up uh, for questions. <coughs> yeah, ma'am. So, could you give any flavor of in FI 22 and FI 21? What were the new to bank customers in the MSME segment and what was the so, so, so the way I understand this question is that new to bank versus new to credit. You know, did I go and you know take basically a customer who's new to credit, not in the banking system, right? Now, everybody talks about this, you know, question. Sorry, you know, but I just find this, you know, question to be superfluous and not relevant. And the reason I do, do, do that is that today you are a PSU bank customer. I don't have a strategy to go out and take you, but the PSU bank customer, you know, wants a 20% enhancement because he's got a large order. Go to, you know, a bank, the processing time will be 60, 90 days. They will require more collateral in my system within one hour in the computer system without telling anybody they can, you know, seek that enhancement. They can go bid for the order and they can get that order. And even the customers who are moving to us, you know, from other banks, they just don't move, you know, unless they are very, you know, basically uh, 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 distressed with the service level, which also happens. But they would move, you know, with some enhancement because they have enhancing needs. These are guys all growing. I mentioned to you that by the turn of this decade, there are 10,000 SME customers who are going to become, you know, mid-corporate. And there are 1,000 mid-corporate customers who are going to go and become, you know, large corporate. Now, when you think about it, they have continuing credit needs and that is what we need to, you know, go out and service. Five crore customers in the MSME space today are not in the banking system who will progressively every year keep coming. We have to be prepared for that. So, the way I look at it, when I say, you know, I will double the number of count that I do business with, right? That is not that, you know, this is PSU customer I will acquire, this is ICICI bank customer or Access bank customer. That thought does not even cross my mind. I look at, you know, why is my market share in Tripura, you know, why am I number 8 bank over there? That is a question to ask. I have a 23 percent market share in Gujarat and I am the number 1 bank in MSME, I am number 1 in Rajasthan. But you take a road trip, you know, from Porbandar to Veraval, that stretch. A lot of fishermen, a lot of fishing nets, who is financing that? We are not. So, suddenly you find pockets where you know your market share is low. So, you got to go out and go out and you know provide your digital facilities. You got to go out and provide financing, but you do not provide financing by you know basically only cutting rates. When the 44 percent growth happened last year, right, you can think that you know what happened to my NIM? My NIM went down by one basis points. The book grew 44 percent and the NIM went down one basis point. And at this point of time, what I am looking at is between March 31st and September 30th that the yield of the entire book, you know, the rupee book goes up by 50 basis points. So, so that is how we look at this market. It is a very dynamic market and everybody, you know, basically whoever is a promoter, they have, you know, some, what do you call it, ahankar, you know, little bit ego. But everybody is, you know, basically build great businesses around everywhere. We just have to go and be supportive, be humble and keep growing and that is how we will continue to grow. Thank you. Last question. Yeah. Hi. Uh, this one is for Jimmy. As you become the largest player in these respective micro markets. No, no, not become. We are the largest. So, right. correct that. Correct. As no, correct are, that because then you, you guys will go out and write research report. You as you become, what do you mean as you become? Yeah, abhi itna bada presentation kiya, itna bhashan diya, uske baad bhi aapko samajh nahi aaya. Aap likhoge kya? So as you are already the largest player yes. in these markets, Rahul is Rahul. How do you address <laughs> scale-related 
risks on asset quality. What related risks, sorry? Scale related risks. Uh, Jimmy, hold on. Oh, uh, Jimmy, hold on. I, I, I'll give you some metric, right? So you think, uh, so what are the goals of GNPA that we are driving? Healthcare finance and ECG less than half percent. MSME business, retail and you know wholesale, 1% GNP. You look at transportation finance, we are higher, I think 1.2 or 1.25 percent. We are driving it to 1 percent. We can't you know do better than 1 percent. And when you talk about rural banking, our goal ultimately is to reach a GNP of about 4 percent. Right? That is you know the roadmap. You can always evaluate us on that roadmap as you know the bank goes and continues to publish. Now, if you think about March 31st last year, kitna tha hamara GNP hai, CRB mein? Every quarter we've had a reduction. So the bank is on basically that glide path to be best in class in terms of GNP performance. And the number of customers, six and a half crore those versus 11 lakhs, I can still continue to grow. There are good quality businesses without diluting my GNPA standards. Thank you. Let me give you some comfort on this. Um, if you look at the businesses encompassing uh, CRB, we're probably the largest CTG financer in the country today. We are among the largest agricultural financiers in the country today. With the largest MSME financier. We didn't become this last year. We have been large enough for several years. So how do we manage it at scale? By doing exactly what we did when we didn't have the scale. We have a better and larger and more energetic marketing structure going out. You saw the penetration. You saw the penetration and you saw one of the points he made. He said, I need to do two disbursements in a village and I'm at home. So it's not impossible to manage it if you actually have that kind of an infrastructure. The infrastructure is large. We have a tradition behind this. We didn't do it in 2008. We haven't done it through COVID. Not a single person is let go. Everybody is given an increment and a bonus. Everybody is kept enthused. So when the tide turns, they'll run. What is the benefit of that running? Forget the growth for the bank. From a credit perspective, since you asked a credit question, the influx and the through the door quantum and quality that comes matches your policy. And when that happens, you're in a position to let it out through the door. You're also in a position to pre-approve a whole bunch of it and several of the products are pre-approved as well and you actually manage to keep that quality doing exactly the same thing you were doing five years ago. We haven't changed policies. We haven't changed processes. We've only changed the amount of investment that we have put into drawing in quality business. Did I manage to answer? Yeah. All right. Uh, thank, thank you. you.